you, you mentioned before that you you've been traveling with this place with this play um, all over schools in UK and now with the movie. So can you tell us something more? What what is uh, what kind of reactions that you get do you get and and the, do you make workshop after the play and the movie? Um, the, we did a workshop after the play that was an hour long. The play was only an hour long. It was very different from the film. The same actors were in the play. They did the tour, the same six that you saw, that, the main ones, and the one with the red hair. Um, that, uh, he, the, um, they, they all did the tour. So um, we did an hour-long workshop after every play, which was really important and really interesting. And what we would do is the actors, because the first question, which is the same question that you all have now, I'm sure, which ones were gay, which ones were not, right? <laughs> because you've got a special one in your mind that you're hoping, <laughs> right? <laughs> and the kids are exactly the same. If we played at theatres, we played um, schools, they always, the first question, um, I mean, the whole experience was, was really, well, after the first couple of performances, you knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, there were special magic moments, but the same thing basically would always happen. So I would introduce the play, and then I would ask them if they knew what gay and all that was. And um, then I would explain the plays about bullying, about homophobic bullying, and we'd be dancing at the beginning of the play. I would explain everything. They would watch, they would love the homophobic characters. They would find them very funny. Obviously some, people, some kids were uncomfortable with that, but they basically found them very funny. Um, it's interesting watching it with, uh, you know, with gay audiences and other audiences, they don't find them very funny. But trust me, the kids find them funny. And, um, and love them. And, the, um, and they like the gay characters too, because they don't know which ones are gay. And then, um, then usually in the play and in the film, when they realise that people are gay, especially in the play, because um, when he asks Tegsy to kiss him, the kids will go, no, 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 and they get very upset about it. And, um, and that would upset the actors usually because obviously they're encountering this homophobia. And the kids have this bad reaction. And at the end of the play, they would, the first question, who's gay, who's gay, which, which ones of you are gay, and which ones of you are straight? And I'd say, well, we can't tell you. And they'd say, why, why, why? And I'd say, because some of you were really reacted badly to the gay characters and we want to leave here alive and we want to look after <laughs> each other. So some of us are gay, some of us are straight, but we're all sticking together because we're family, we're friends, and we don't want to expose anyone to your homophobia. And, we, no, no, you're safe. We say, no, we don't feel safe. Look at the way you behaved. Uh, and the kids in this school, some of the kids in this room are gay and they are not safe with you. Um, so, do you know anyone who's gay? And some hands would go up. And, um, except for one city in Bri called Brighton, in, uh, <laughs> in England, where all the hands went up, they all knew someone who was gay. <laughs> and uh, so Brighton's the place to be. But, the, but um, otherwise, maybe two, three, four hands would go up. Some teachers would put their hands up. And I'd say, well, every hand should be up. Every single one of you knows someone who's gay but they can't tell you because they can't trust you because of the way you respond. They can't tell you. And I would explain that you are the weather, you are the landscape that other people live in and you decide whether this landscape is brutal, whether this weather is, is, is kind, or whether it's, the sun is gonna shine or whether it's gonna be cold. You decide that. And right now you've made a cold landscape and we can't, we have to stay protected. And they would be really shocked and they didn't ever think of that. And so then they'd spend the rest of the hour being really nice to us so that we'd tell them if we were gay or not. And then the cast would decide at the end if they would come out to them or tell them what they, they would speak to them. And then sometimes in the workshop, they would, um, they would, um, there would be an argument. The actors would stay in character. They wouldn't be themselves. They could only be in the character. So the kids would still say, are you gay? And we'd say, you're asking the character so we could, only the character can answer. And then um, they would push um, Ryan to say that he was gay. And um, then eventually he would usually, I didn't rehearse it so they could do what they wanted. The actors could do what they wanted. And then the actor would say to, usually to, he would turn to Isaac and say, okay, man, I'm gay, I'm gay. I'm, I'm gonna just tell you. And Isaac would go, what, what? Go crazy and leave. And he'd slam the door, gone. The kids would go, where's he gone? And I'd say, I don't know, he's never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, which is the only lie I ever told. And the, uh, so I don't know where he's gone. Um, 
to someone, I need someone to go and get him while we carry on with the workshop. Um, and then I would choose the most homophobic kid, which is you now. I would say, you, could you please go and get him for me? And then they would go and look for him. He'd disappear into the school. They'd go and look for him. They'd, uh, they'd explain to him, look, he's your friend. You can't, you, you've got to stick with your friend. You've got to, and so he would wait until they persuaded him to come back in. He would say, what am I going to say? And they would give him a speech to say. He would come in, talk, in interrupt the workshop and say, look, I'm, your, I'm, I don't, I'm freaked out by you being, you're gay, but you're my friend and I want to try and stick with you and see what we can do. And then all the rest of the school would cheer them. And it was amazing to see kids who, um, who'd got all their, um, all, all their um, pride out of being homophobic finally get it out of being the other person. It was an incredible thing to see. Years ago, I did workshops on homosexuality also here in schools, in secondary schools. Did you, did you do demonstrations? What kind of demonstrations? Homosexual <laughs> ones. <laughs> no, I, had, I, I wanted to Nothing. say that... Uh, <laughs> it's cold here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I just wanted to say that I... Sorry? Which one was gay? Which one was gay? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> at the end, we'll answer this question at the end. Much but you have to be nice, right? Okay, um, at those workshops, I was also, I mean, two things that, were, that I was always asked was whether I was gay and then what I do sexually with my boyfriend in bed. And they were particularly interested in anal sex. Yes. For they, some reason. They love it. So do they ask about sex? <laughs> Oh, they love the anal sex, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> they would ask all kinds of questions, and obviously my job was to be honest, and except for that one lie I told you about, never lie. But it, obviously teachers are uncomfortable, so and, and I remember in one school, this kid puts his hand up and he said, Isn't, um, do you know what bum means? Right. Isn't bum sex messy? And all the teachers went white. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, um, and I could see, I thought, is he trying to make me look bad? Was he, and I, he looked like he really wanted to know. So I said, um, well, the thing is that not everybody who's gay has bum sex. Not anal sex isn't something that all gay people do. Um, some like it, some don't. In surveys, in fact, it's about 50%. Um, which I know is a disappointing statistic, but the, um, it's, uh, the, um, <laughs> it's, uh, the, they don't all, so you, if someone's gay, they may never try it, but a, a, at least 50% of heterosexuals try bum sex. So it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be gay to try it. But the thing is, if you, do, if you ever are persuaded to or fancy trying bum sex later, then it should be fine. Don't feel ashamed about it. It's just sex. But there shouldn't be any mess because you should be wearing a condom and the condom should go in the bin with the mess. And all the teachers went, <sighs> <laughs> So they asked all, they did, they wanted to know about all of that. And, and that's really healthy. All those questions are great. They wanted to know about sex in prison and what were people gay if they had sex in prison. And then you, you look and you see, oh, maybe this boy's got a dad or a brother who's in prison. You know, these were really important questions to answer. And I... And it was a big responsibility. With the film, it's, it, the questions are slightly different. They really focus on, on um, the, how the characters develop in the film. They, you know, they really were focused on that.